Hello, welcome to the Mahimbi PDF Converter for SharePoint Online file conversion video. In this video, we'll detail the various ways that individual and groups of files can be converted using the user interface. With the assumption that the converter for SharePoint Online is already in be installed, we'll get started. So to do an individual file, we simply need to select it, click on Files, Convert to PDF, and this window comes up. It tells us which file we've selected, what the destination file name we want is, the destination folder that we want to send it to, and whether or not we want to include SharePoint metadata. So in this case, we will change the name to Accounting Details Converted, and we will change the destination folder to Outgoing. We will also include the SharePoint metadata. So we click Convert, and in a few moments we get a conversion result. And here we are, we have a successful conversion. So we'll go to the destination library and we see a new PDF is being created with the new name and the SharePoint metadata. Now, if we want to convert multiple files at the same time, this is also very easy. We simply select the multiple files that we want to convert. You can select as many as you'd like and then go back to the same convert to PDF button. And here we have the two files that we've selected and we get the option of deciding where we want them to go. So we will send them to the outgoing folder again. However, this time we will not include the SharePoint metadata to show the difference. Click Convert, and in a few moments we'll get a conversion result. And here we are. The two files have been successfully converted. So we then go to the destination library, and we see the original file we converted, and then the two new ones without the SharePoint metadata. Now, if you'd like to convert even more files at the same time, or perhaps just a whole folder, you just select a folder, files again, convert to PDF, and a similar window appears. So we have the uh, folder that we want to convert, whether or not we want to include its subfolders, the destination folder, in this case we will send it to this folder, and whether or not we want to include SharePoint metadata, in this case we will. So we click Convert again, and again we should get a result in a few moments. And here we are. All the files in the incoming folder have been successfully converted. So we'll go to the Destination Library, and we see them here, along with their SharePoint metadata. I hope this video has given you a good idea of the user interface conversion options available with the Mahimbi PDF Converter for SharePoint Online. Thank you very much for watching.